In honor of Groundhog Day, I want to share a very unusual car related story. And just for fun, I want to invite you to share one of your own so we can uh, share it on future episodes. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. If you buy and sell vehicles for a profit or you want to, you're in the right place. This is the Flipping Genius Podcast. Our number one goal is to help our listeners make more money. Every episode, we share information, ideas, and experiences of real-life car flippers. I'm Randy Lee. I'm the host of Flipping Genius. I've flipped cars most of my life for over a dozen years now. I've been a licensed dealer. I am working to build the best podcast about successfully flipping cars for a consistent profit. Let's get to it, flippers. Okay, so here is the story that I'm going to share. Um, it, it is actually, and you're going to think this is crazy, uh, but it's actually from a dream that I had uh, on ground, uh, Groundhog Day Eve, if there is such a thing. Um, and and I and I, it's a car, it's a, a car story. So I, uh, one of my friends said, who listens to the podcast, he said, you ought to tell it in, on the podcast and, and see if anybody else has stories like this. And I thought, what the heck? Let's do it. Um, so here's here's how the this dream went. Uh, in, in my in my dream, I'm in a bad part of town. Uh, I've got a truck. It's it's like a, a late 2005 2008 model F150. Uh, it kind of like the truck that I own. I I, I have got a 06 F150. Uh, that I use for towing, and it was it was it's just a truck, you know, nothing, nothing special about it. Uh, but I jumped in like I always do, and and went to start the thing up, and I put the key in the ignition, and uh, somehow the, the when I turn the key, it it won't it, it turns, but it won't turn the the, the ignition switch. It just it's like rubber. It's kind of like just <laughs> just turns around, and. Uh, uh, but it, it doesn't, you know, doesn't doesn't it, it turn the ignition switch, so I can't start the car. Um, and inside of this key, somehow, in my dream, there's a chain, uh, kind of like a, a a small chain, kind of like you used to use for maybe uh, uh, keychains or something, kind of like in, like a keychain little ball links uh, are are in there. And and I can tell that this little stretch, this little key chain that goes through the key inside the key it's inside of the key uh has been stretched now remember this is a dream this is this is just a dream and and i <laughs> it's just such a crazy story and i just thought you know like i said ryan my friend said hey you gotta share it with everybody so here here goes um now remember that that there had been two tot knots tied inside the 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 chain and I, I try to, uh, uh, I try to to pull back on the key to kind of tighten the uh, the tension on on this chain that is inside of this key housing, um, and create that, that. And I'm trying to create more tension so it will actually turn the ignition. And as I do this, uh, and I'm pulling back, the key breaks apart, and inside the key is made up of. Uh, sort of like a, a, a pair of tweezers. Uh, this chain that I'm talking about, um, this little ball chain, and then uh, some other other starts, other parts, and it all just falls out and uh, on the floor and in my hand, and I gather up all the parts that, it, it, from inside that ignition area and off the floor, and I put it all in my left pocket. <laughs> And I, I, it's it's funny because I don't always dream, remember exactly what my dreams are, but I remember this one specifically. Um, so then, I, uh, I put it in my left pocket, and next thing I remember, I'm inside of this small house, and I, I know that I'm in the same neighborhood, like this, a couple doors away, on a, a, and I know this is a a bad neighborhood. It's like trouble around here, and. Uh, and inside this house, I'm realizing that I a car that I own is inside the living room of this little house. It's a tiny car, and it's inside the living room of this house. And I don't know how it got there or who owns the house, but I know my car is not supposed to be inside their house. 
Um, and then a guy comes out, a guy appears, and I immediately apologize uh, for my car being in his living room. And <laughs> he says, um, he just stays there. It's not his house. And the, uh, the owner is in the other room. And then he walks away to go to the bathroom or something. And it's kind of the middle of the night. And about that time, another guy comes out from this next room. And I, again, apologize to him for my car being in his living room. And this guy says, it's no big deal. Kind of like people are parked in his, in his living room all the time. But he says, it's no big deal. And he just asked me to carry the car outside. Um, which I tell him that I will because the car looks small enough that I'll be able to pick it up and carry it outside. And I'm just glad that, you know, that I, that I'm not going to have a problem with, you know, the owner that I parked the car inside his house. Um, and, and the car, you know, it, so I, I'm tell him that I'm going to do that. And, uh, and then the guy says uh, that he's glad of that. He's glad I'm going to get it out of there. And he says, because he is a locksmith and it's Sunday and he needs some rest. And I am so excited at that moment uh, that, that when he tells me that he's a locksmith, I, I, I tell him about my truck and, and the key situation. And I pull this menagerie of, of, of key parts, the, this, this tweezer, the chain and all that, and all of it out of my pocket. And I, I place it in his hand and ask him to please try to fix it. So that I can throw my little car in the, the back of the bed of my, uh, my, my, my pickup truck and get my truck started and drive back out of this bad neighborhood before something happens uh, to my vehicles and to me, possibly. There's a, I, there's a pending doom here. Um, <laughs> and he starts looking at looking over this, uh, this, this, the key parts and he's just shaking his head. And looking, he's looking at him, and he's like he's trying to. He wants to help me, but he doesn't want to help real bad. And he's saying that he just can't hardly see a way to fix this mess of parts uh, and and turn it back into a key that will work uh, on the truck. And I just ask him to use all of his locksmithing powers uh, because I really, I really have no idea what I'll do if he can't fix it for me. I, I'm. I, I'm also um, somehow more aware that my truck will like, likely be vandalized and, and or stolen within an hour or two uh, because the, the, the badness of this neighborhood is starting to, to kind of wear in my mind. And he just continues to shake his head. And, uh, and, and I, I, I have no idea who these guys are or where I was at. I don't have any recognition of the, the vehicles, the house, any of this stuff, it's, it, 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 but this guy is kind of a big, shaggy looking dude, uh, kind of reminded me of the guy from uh, uh, the Big Lebowski. <laughs> and he's shaking his head and he's, he's saying he just can't see a way to repair it. And suddenly I realize that I can solve the problem myself. All I have to do, and I say this to him, I, I got it, I know how to fix it. All I have to do, is wake up <laughs> and and I do I wake up and when I do I realize in reality now that the the truck the car the bad neighborhood the the, the big sleepy uh, uh, big Lebowski looking uh, locksmith and his roommate and the house it, all of it is gone and none of it ever existed and I was so happy I was just so happy to not have that problem i think it was about 4 15 in the morning and and i just went ahead and got up out of bed and i was just glad that there was one less issue <laughs> to solve <laughs> and that's and that's the crazy dream i had uh that i thought i'd share with you if you have had some crazy story like that i hope you'll share it with us uh just email it to uh, me at uh, flipping questions at gmail.com if you want to record it and send it in an audio version. I'll be happy to put your audio on here. Uh, and, you know, if you don't, that's that's fine. I'm sure one of these days you'll you'll have some craziness come into your head, too. Um, I'm going to grab a, a, uh, a, a refill for my Kickapoo Joy Juice, and we'll be right back after this break. All right, we are back. And uh, that's a little bit crazy a crazy uh, thing to talk about, but I thought it might be kind of fun. Um, 
I, this is going to be a, a short episode. It is cold and wintry here in Alabama. Uh, rain and uh, I, I almost thinking it's going to snow. And I, I'm uh, I'm inside here trying to dream up some some ways to get somebody to come buy a old beat up car and to try to sell me one too. And it's it's been a slow a slow process. Um, I, I do thank you for listening to the Flipping Genius podcast. I, I enjoy seeing your insights, and I've, I've seen more stuff on the Car Flipping Forum. If you're not a member of the Car Flipping Forum, please join, and please interact with each other on there. And if I can be of assistance, reach out to me at any time, either on the forum, um, which you can find the Car Flipping Forum. Just go to Facebook groups and search Flipping Genius, and it'll be the first one that pops up. It's it's a uh, trimmed in blue we have about 25 different groups but that's the one that's in blue and it's a, a free uh, group to join and you can share information please just answer a couple questions so that i know you are real when you join if you want to find it even easier just go to our our website flippinggenius.com that's f-l-i-p-p-i-n-g E-N-I-U-S dot com, and you'll find links to the Car Flipping Forum. You'll find links to our YouTube channel. You'll find all 155-plus episodes of Flipping Genius podcast there, uh, audio and video where available. Um, you'll find our resources page, and you'll find an opportunity to become a flipping partner, a flipping teammate, or a flipping champion, and have an opportunity to work Directly with me, frankly, uh, we, we folks that, that sign up for those programs have an opportunity to do some one-on-one -on -one work, and we try to help you build your business uh, in any way we can. And pretty sure that the interaction uh, that that, that we'll, um, you'll experience with us will benefit your bottom bottom line much more significantly than the the minor cost that is involved there. Um, hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. Please come back. Please share it with a friend. Please share us on social media. Please join our our um, our YouTube channel. Be, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're trying to bump that up over a thousand uh, members. And also uh, save us as a favorite and give us a five star review. Um, if you think I'm crazy because I'm talking about car dreams. Uh, just disregard this one and go to one of the other. There's a lot of a lot of good meat and potatoes uh, throughout the uh, the many episodes, and I, I appreciate those of you who have uh, shared it with others. Hey, let's work together. Let's make some money. Let's all become flipping geniuses. <laughs>